Uh, I want to say a few things about her uh, before she hops on. You know, uh, in this industry, guys, I've been I've been in this industry for you know three plus years now. And out of all the people that I've met, you know, lots of people in and out. It's, uh, that's just kind of the nature of these kinds of things. Um, she is one of the most talented, inspiring, and hardworking individuals I've ever, ever met. So from the beginning, guys, um, you know, she's one of those people that if she doesn't know something, right, she's going to go out and get that information, right? She's going to continue, continue, continue to grow, continue to inspire others to grow along with her. And so if you don't have anything out to write notes uh, on, guys, I would highly, highly recommend you get some notes out, get your pen, get some notes down, because we're going to learn a lot of stuff today. So this, uh, this person that I want to bring up here is none other than Miss Marissa Chase. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate those amazing words that you said about me. It's always good to feel good. So I appreciate that, Tippa. Um, so tonight, guys, uh, what I wanted to talk about um, with you all. Oh, by the way, if you don't know me, my name is Marissa Chase. I am 25 years old and I live in southern Wisconsin. I've been doing this business for about six and a half months, um, but I've been a full time entrepreneur for over a year now. And what I really want to talk about tonight, guys, is how you can get your free account or how you can start building a residual income and kind of what that journey has looked like for me and the roadmap of what I've used to get here. And so that's what I want to share with you all today. So how to get a free account for those who are looking for us. A lot of us come into this business and we aren't really wanting to pay the monthly membership, but we really want to get the material, the education, the educators and stick around. And so getting our free account and finding the people who are wanting the same information that we are learning is really, really easy to do if you know the right things on how to do it. And so basically when I got started here, I wasn't too urgent to get a free account. But after seeing the opportunity and the products and diving into the education, I really realized how many people are actually looking for this information, this education, the community that we have. And so then I really wanted to start diving into getting a free account. And so what I did was I went with my warm market and I started out with this sales mindset. Okay. So Having a sales mindset for me was really hard to overcome because I wasn't going in it to make the sale. I was going in it to help other people see what type of education is out there. And it was just two worlds colliding. And for me, I wanted to transition into how to actually make an impact with other people. And that's what I'm going to share with you guys today is how I was able to transition from the sales mindset to the actual impact that can be made on other people and how to actually go find those people who are looking for that type of change. Because I just realized how many people were financially sick once I started reaching out and talking to other people and having really good conversations about what people are actually struggling with, because it's no secret that in today's world, there's rising inflation. There's a ton of unexpected costs that a lot of us go through. And knowing the skills and equipping yourself with the right things in order to better yourself and put yourself in a better position is going to help you so much more. And that's the education and the products that we have here, you guys. And when I started realizing how many people were financially sick, I started transitioning out of the sales mindset. And so when I started transitioning out of that, I started having more leads in my business because I knew who I wanted to help. But the first thing that you have to know is your target audience. Who are you looking to help? What do those people look like? Where do they hang out? What are they struggling with? And one thing for me, you guys, was a thing called a memory jogger where it's basically a list and it references different points of contact of people in your life. So you can start thinking of more and more people. So you can start identifying different names of people that might pop into your brain that might just resonate with you that you forgot about that. You're like, Oh, this person probably is looking for something like this and just 
reading a list. It's something that you can Google. You can literally Google memory jogger and it'll pop up a bunch of different images of things that will just jog your memory. So you can start remembering more and more people. And when you are looking to have your target audience and you're looking to find your tar target audience, the first thing that you wanna do is just identify exactly who that is. For me, it was a past version of me because I started realizing a version of me in the past is who I'm most qualified to help. So for me, I was a struggling accountant who did not like her job, who was living still paycheck to paycheck because I didn't know how to manage my money, even though I was an accountant, which is crazy because these skills are something that we don't learn outside of a community like this unless we are searching for it. And it's something that we don't realize that we need to learn. And when I realized that I was a struggling accountant, working a nine to five job, didn't have a purpose, didn't have a passion, I started writing those things down. And I started journaling this. I started writing it out and getting more and more detail because the more and more detailed I went, the more and more people I thought of. And the clearer I got on who I was looking to talk with. And when I was looking at my target audience and starting to realize who those people actually were, I knew that I wasn't going into a conversation with them to sell them on a product or a service. I was looking to connect with them. And because you guys, connection is so key. Most people in today's society are so used to being sold to. They're so used to having ads constantly, especially when you're going on social media, you look at TV, there's billboards, there's sales are everywhere. And most people put up a guard when it comes to sales because no one likes being sold to. And for me, that sales mindset is where I was coming from. And I started feeling icky about it. And then I realized that this isn't sales. This is us seeing the problem and finding a solution and connecting people from their problems to finding the solution and giving them the pathway in order to have the skills to overcome that and make it through that problem that they are facing. And so knowing who you want to talk with and who you want to connect with will better equip you to helping them, to knowing their problems, to having a conversation with them because you know the right things to say. You because there's there's not anything right to say. It's just knowing how to have small talk because what I started realizing was that in today's society, social media is huge. And most people don't even know how to have small talk anymore. A lot of people avoid having random conversations out in public. They avoid any other unknown person out in public and especially like if you go to Walmart and grocery shop a lot of people are just going to walk on by you and avoid making eye contact and avoid talking to you and so when you go in with a smile on your face and you know your passion your purpose and who you are trying to go out and find and you can talk with anyone and you can build a connection versus going in with the mindset that you want to sell to them everything starts to change you start getting to know people better you start identifying more and more problems that they have but the only way that you can do that is if you qualify yourself enough to ask those questions to them. By having the small talk and the conversations before you are asking, what are you struggling with? What are your goals? What are um, the things that you're searching for? And you just kind of go through a whole connection process of first identifying who it is that you are talking to. Second, connecting with them, having small talk, and third, finding out what they are struggling with. And if they're struggling with something along the lines of money management, not liking their job, not having a passion, not having a purpose, really just looking for something to change their life um, 
not only just financially, but looking for a community. There's so many different aspects of this business that it's not just one, one and done. You know, there's so many different things and that's the power in knowing our products and our services and being able to connect with other people on what they're struggling with. So you can highlight something that we provide here if it's a fit for them and navigating through those conversations after you make the connection. And um, just you want to find your their struggles, literally what they are struggling with. Like for me, before I got into this, I was struggling with my mindset. I was always negative all the time. I was struggling with paycheck to paycheck. Like those are things that I wrote down who I knew were going to be in my target audience because I knew I could relate and resonate with them. Because when you can relate to other people, they'll relate to you, they'll open up more and you can build a connection. And the reason that I focus so hard on this connection is you guys, I've literally met some of my best friends in this community. And when you are going in trying to either build, a, get a free account or build a residual income, you are going to be working with these people in the community, whether you're trading together, whether you're talking through mindset things and life goals, you're going to be working with them all the time. So you better know who you're looking for. You better know who you want to have in your circle and connect with them and build that relationship with them and really gain that sense of trust because this is a business partnership. We all want to be in business with people we trust, we like, we want to be around, and we want to just see ourselves going to our end goals with each other. And that's why I focus so hard on the connection is because so many people are searching for that. So many people feel alone, especially isolated with social media. They go to their job, they come home and they don't do anything else. And you can be that ray of light and glimmer of hope with not only building a connection and forming a friendship or a trust or business partnership, but also you can connect them with amazing products and services that can help them solve other issues they may be struggling with in their life. And you just have to start qualifying yourself by asking the right questions. And it all literally starts with, hey, how's it going? Where are you from? Uh, what do you do? Very, very simple questions. And then once you start to get to know them, you can start asking more and more in-depth questions. And that's really how you start qualifying yourself um, in order to start asking those questions is you start with the basics. You start you start from square one because every single person that you meet is new. And the beautiful part is, is you get to be who you want to be because in this business and in this opportunity, people don't just join the opportunity. They join you. You, you are unique in your beliefs, in your experiences, in your strengths, in your views of life. Those are specific things that you can connect on with other people that really just make you unique and attract other people to you. And the first place that you start is literally knowing who, who your target audience is, who you want to work with, and connecting them with yourself because you want to work with those people because of your uniqueness. And then you can be you in these conversations and build these connections, build these friendships, build these business partnerships. It's really just a beautiful, beautiful journey. And the quicker you can transition out of being in the sales mindset and start focusing on the connection mindset and really just guiding other people through the process, the better you're going to feel, the more inspired you're going to feel, and the more of an impact you'll start to see. And you guys, not being a leader is not for everyone. But if you can get a free account with four people that are like-minded you, well, that means you literally have your circle of five. And we are all a sum of the five people closest to us. We are always the fifth ones. If you surround yourself with four people who think alike like you and you bring them in, that is now your circle. You get to work with them. You get to trade with them. You get to talk with them. You get to really just form these beautiful connections that you may not have had before this opportunity or before you gave yourself the chance to go out and find these people. And so this is why it's super important to start building that connection first, whether it's in the text and DMs, whether that's in person, 
But as you go further and further into this connection-based process, you want to start doing voice uh, messages, uh, phone calls, Zoom calls, meeting face-to-face, -face because then you are building that connection in more than just one way. They get to see you in different aspects, but then you also get to see them too. And just being yourself when you're going along in this journey, owning your uniqueness, owning your experiences, owning the way that you show up in business. If you're a successful trader, if you're successful in the business, you get to own who you are and you get to be who you want to be and be authentically that and attract in those people that you really want to be with and you want to work with. And this is kind of what my process has looked like is literally going and finding a memory jogger, writing down a list of names once I started thinking of them, journaling out my dream business partner who what qualities I look for what they look like where they hang out what they do um what their goals are and going from that journaling to then finding these people because I knew where they hung out per se so if they're hanging out on social media what hashtags do they use what accounts do they follow what are their interests and then finding those people by just literally searching either on social media putting myself out there, going in public, going to the gym, talking with people at the grocery store instead of avoiding that eye contact, just pushing myself to become the best version of me and making connections. Because the more and more that you talk about you and talk about um, connection with other people and how you're up leveling your life, you're going to inspire other people along the way just by being you and by opening your mouth. Because so many people nowadays don't open their mouths enough to talk and know what's out there. We all just rely on social media. And with a lot of this automation that's happening within social media, more and more people are craving that attention and craving the in-person contact or Zoom calls or face-to-face -face interactions. Like they are looking to build actual connections with people. They don't want to talk with someone, uh, a robot on customer service. They will literally talk with you. Um, just, just kind of putting yourself in the position that you were in before you joined this business. Thinking of the reasons why you joined this business. Why did you want to learn trading? Why did you want to be a part of a community? Figuring out the exact reasons why you joined is going to better help you find who you are looking for and better qualify you to help those people because you know exactly how they feel, what they went through, what they were working towards, because that was you. And that's why I say if it's a past version of you that you're looking for in your target audience, you know exactly what to look for and you know exactly how to help them. And so owning your uniqueness and just going forth every single day to share your voice, share your journey, share the opportunities that you're a part of and knowing who you're looking for and going through this exact process to start finding them. You will never run out of people to talk to. You will never run out of finding new and new things because every single day, my target audience adds another little added layer. You know, it's all about getting to know yourself in this process, too. And I know we focus a lot on mindset and self-development, but when you're in the process of learning who you actually are, because you're finally given yourself permission to learn who you are, you start knowing who to talk to and you start talking to more and more people. And as you talk to more and more people, they can actually help you find out who you are too. And I think that this whole process of just getting your free account and earning residual income and connecting with others is so much more powerful than just sales. And it's so much more powerful than just a free account. This is literally life-changing education and information that we have here and knowing the right ways to go about things that light you up, that inspire you to show up and do this every single day and to realize the type of impact that you can have and just owning that, showing up for yourself, staying consistent, doing daily uh, habits to build up your consistency and discipline, to be able to go out and help so many more people who are looking for exactly what we have. And so with all of that, I think that this was a beautiful way to segue into what 
Tippa is going to be sharing tonight. Tippa has been an absolute incredible just business partner in general. I had no idea who he was before I joined this business. And this is why I set, like focus so hard on connection is Tippa and I have connected so well in such a short amount of time that it feels like we've known each other for a lifetime. And he is one of the hardest working, most servant leaders I have ever come across. And it is such a pleasure to work alongside him in this mission and change other lives and inspire other people. And he is an example of leading by example. He doesn't just tell you to do something. He goes and he does it first and he helps you do it for yourself too. And you guys, Tippa is amazing. He's about to drop some major value for you guys. So can I get some sevens in the chat for Tippa? I had to drop some sevens for myself, guys. Well, thank you. Thank you so much, Marissa. I appreciate that intro. Uh, you know, all the feelings are mutual. Um, I'm really, really excited to be here with you guys. Um, you know, my people, right? My people, our people, like-minded. This is exactly where we need to be. This is exactly where I want to be. Uh, and my biggest uh, goal tonight, guys, is to share what I've learned throughout my journey, right? And the nuggets uh, and the value that uh, I've come across and I've learned myself to help facilitate and create the fastest track that you guys can run on to reach the goals that you want to reach, right? So Marissa touched on a lot of important topics. Uh, and I kind of want to reiterate a little bit, guys, if you were taking notes, like I was myself, right? Some of my biggest takeaways were, I mean, Marissa, obviously, guys, she's a wonderful person, right? So the mindset that she has, and is the correct mindset, right, which I'll be going over, is it's not about selling someone, guys, right? we're obviously all here to trade, Right. But for us, if you're trying to build the business like Marissa and I are and some other people on this call are right, we are trying to help others. Right. That is the biggest, biggest thing, guys. We're trying to help others. Selling is just a byproduct of it. Right. Making that transaction happen. That's just a byproduct of it. Right. But our goal is to help as many people as possible. Right. The, this platform, guys, it has so many different things beyond trading education. Right money management, uh, travel discounts, everything, right? That can uh, that can help a plethora of different people, right? That are in different needs of things, right? But guys, the people that are stuck out there, right? It's not a lack of resource uh, resources, right? It's a lack of resourcefulness for them, right? But who is their resource? It's you. So because of their lack of resource or resourcefulness, right? You need to be the one to help facilitate them, to help guide them to what's going to help better their life. Who else is going to do it, right? If they're on their own, it's going to take a lot longer, right? And then you can help so many more people along the way, right? If you are feeling stuck and you're on this call, right? Whether it's with trading, whether it's with uh, mindset, whether it's with uh, systems, whatever it is, guys, you're only stuck is because of your lack of resourcefulness. We have so many people on this team, not just the people that have been doing it for a while, but people that had just gotten started, but bring different experiences and skill sets uh, that you know are valuable. And so if there are certain things that you're stuck on, guys, you have a whole entire team, you have a whole entire platform that can help everything that you possibly could um, you know, need help with, right? And if they can't, they can point you to someone or something that can, all right? So that's the first thing I wanna touch on. And another big uh, takeaway that I had from what Marissa was talking about, guys, it's really being intentional about your intentions, right? And what you want the result to be, okay? You want to be intentional with your intentions and what you want your result to be, okay? If you guys don't understand this foundation, then it, uh, everything in between doesn't even matter, right? About the techniques and all those kinds of things, right? First, you need to understand why you're doing the things, what you want to get out of it, right? Maybe it's helping people. Maybe it's, you know, uh, making a certain amount of commissions, right? But long term, guys, if you go in with the mindset of trying to help the most amount of people as possible and doing it in a skillful way, because then you'll start investing your time into learning the skills that can best help your uh, the people around you, right? So those are those are my kind of biggest takeaways, guys. A little bit about me for those of you that, that don't know. <laughs> Excuse me. I've been uh, I've been in this industry, like I said, for 
three plus years now, right? Uh, my biggest thing, guys, is that, you know, obviously I came in to make money from trading, right? But building this business is completely optional. You know, me being on this call right now speaking, I never thought it would be possible, right? I never thought it would be something I want to do, you know, but I've always wanted to help people. Now, this is how I choose to empower the people that are willing to listen, right? That are willing to learn, that are uh, that desire to grow, right? And, you know, you guys are my people. So I want to pour everything I can into you guys to help facilitate your growth, right? So starting off, just wanted to learn how to trade, you know, just through sheer enthusiasm and charisma, right? I had teams of like, you know, about like 20 people or so a couple of times. Um, but throughout that entire process, you know, like now all of those people are, are not, aren't even on my team anymore, right? they are different, uh, different products, different education, right? But the vision was the same, guys right? This whole entire time. But what I lacked and what I know now is that I lacked in the skills, right? And I lacked in the understanding of how I can best help others, right? I was the person, guys, right? <clears throat> well, let me back up a little bit. So my goals with this, right? Long term, right? My why, you know, you need to understand your why. Why are you doing this? For me, I have to take care of my family. That's me, right? I get to take care of my family, right? Financially, they never have to worry about anything. But what's beyond that? There's so much more beyond that than this, right? This is just a vehicle, right, guys? But it's an amazing vehicle. And so beyond that, guys, it's about the positive impact that I can leave in the world, right? My legacy that I want to leave here on earth. But how can I expect to do such great positive things in the future, in the long term, if I can't do that for my immediate environment on the way up, right? And that's why I'm on this call, guys. You know, if, if you have those kinds of desires, there's no reason why you can't be talking on this call. Guys, I'm not, I'm not, I'm no one special, right? Marissa's no one special. We just really, really are passionate about doing these things, helping others, right? And growing along with everybody, okay? So uh, for me, guys, very, very rocky start uh, to this industry, even though I had, you know, a decent amount of success or whatever, it's just not the success that I would like. You know, and along the way, you know, instead of me, you know, my, my goal has always been to help others, but because I lack the skills and the understanding of how I can best do that, guys, I burned a lot of bridges. I'm the type of person, guys, that I, when I started, right, and and drop some drop some ones in the chat if you've, you know, burned some bridges here and there, uh, if people thought, uh, misunderstood you and thought that you were scamming them and all these kinds of things because of the way you approach them, right? We've all been there, even though we're trying to help people don't understand, right? The mis this, the, this misunderstanding is always going to be there because the goals that we have are far greater than what other people have could ever even imagine is possible. You guys get that? Like they can't even imagine it's possible. And this is what we're striving to do, right? That we know that we're capable of reaching. So it's a completely different plane that we're playing at. Okay. So you need to understand this first and foremost, right? So I didn't understand this back then. And I would be the person to round up all my friends, right? I'm like, guys, we need to hop on a Zoom call tonight, guys. This is the midst of COVID, right? We need to hop on a Zoom call tonight, house party. That was one of the apps. And I poured my heart out to them, right? Some of my closest friends, I poured my heart out to them, like, you know, damn near crying, you know? Because I'm like, guys, this is something where we can all make so much money, get so rich together. And I'm telling you guys, I see this and I'm just so blown away that they can't see it as well. I, I can't, I couldn't understand it back then. I couldn't understand it, right? But the fact is, guys, everyone's on their own separate journey. Their own separate journey. They have different phases, uh, different mindsets that they uh, have right now, different programming, right? So some people can't even see what we see, right? They're completely blind to it. And we're blind to certain things that other people can see, right? So it took a lot for me to understand that I can't be begging others to do these kinds of things, right? But there's a lot better way of going about it, right? Although my goal was to help people, I'd often get misunderstood, okay? So just like how Marissa was saying, it's not about selling, it's about helping, right? So if you guys are trying to help as many people as possible, right? And let's even talk about, you know, the financial gain from that, right? The more people you help long-term, the more financial gain that's going to give to you, right? What I heard, guys, is that the more people's bills you can help get paid, the faster yours disappears forever, right? And so that's the beautiful thing. Like this business model is literally the, the more people that you can help on a long-term basis, right? 
or impact, whether it's financial, whether it's mindset, whatever it is that they need, right? The faster your, your bills will disappear forever, okay? So in this game, right, it's a long-term game that you want to play if you want to do it correctly to, uh, you know, create deeper uh, relationships, uh, be able to understand people a lot better and just be able to connect with anybody, right? You need to consider yourself as a consultant, okay? Not as a distributor for the company. You need to consider yourself a consultant in your network, right? If you guys haven't listened to GoPro 7 Steps by Eric Worre, guys, this is a need to listen audio, right? This is something that will break down this entire business, right? A lot of the things that I'm going to break down, like the concepts, uh, it goes into uh, detail, in, uh, in this audio. Okay. So if you haven't listened to it, listen to it. I'm not going to go over too many of those things, but one of the like biggest things, um, biggest paradigm shifts that I had because of what I listened to in this audio was that this business guys, it's not about hunting people, right? We're not out there looking for sales, trying to, um, get as many sales as possible, right? What we're doing is we're farming guys. We're farmers, right? We're, uh, we're planting seeds. And then eventually we'll be able to sow them after we've watered them enough, right? Some people, guys, they're going to be ready to go from the, from the start, right? But it's about understanding the different steps, different phases, different um, uh, situations that people are in so we can best help them. All right, guys, if they're not ready to be helped, if they're not willing to be helped, we can't help them, right? We're going to rub them the wrong way, all right? That's something that we all have to understand. So... <clears throat> going about this uh, in a consultant manner, guys, and in a skillful manner will ultimately make you the most amount of money anyway, right? So the concepts I'm about to get into, guys, uh, and break down is will literally allow you guys to help the most amount of people, right? Allow you to talk to anybody and understand what you talk to them about and build more, better, and deeper relationships with the people that you interact with right? Drop some ones in the chat if you think that that would help your business grow. The ones coming in, the ones coming in. All right. So look, first concept I'm going to break down, right? Uh, it has to do with farming, okay? With the farming, guys, what you need to understand, the reason why you want to sow these or uh, plant these different seeds and, you know, reap them in the long term, right? If they are ready to be, is that you like the fact of the matter is not everyone's going to join your business, right? Not everyone wants to even do any of this stuff, right? Maybe we just don't have the products that people are interested in, right? A lot of people are, a lot of people need them, right? But not everybody is going to see it, okay? So the way we go about this, guys, and the way that it's going to help you um, talk to people, no matter what your prejudgment is, or this person's not going to join the business, this person's not interested, right? You don't want to make these decisions for your people, right? But what you need to understand is every single person that you talk to is a doorway to an entire network of people that you don't know that has at least someone that would be interested in doing something like this, for sure, right? For sure. We all have someone in our network that would need this, absolutely, right? But someone that you know that doesn't want to do this, they also have someone in their network that would need this and would really, really help them with their life, okay? So everyone is not a uh, person that's going to join the team, but everyone is a doorway to someone that does, right? Someone that will, okay? So that's what you need to understand going into every single interaction, guys. Don't, don't be afraid to talk to higher level people. Don't... Don't be weird and not talk to uh, where you, what you perceive as like lower level people, guys. You never know, right? But, you know, after a quick conversation, you might you might get an idea, right? But don't shoot him before like you even try, okay? So with this, right, going into every single interaction, okay, talking to as many people as possible, right, in order to help the most amount of people or to even get the success that you, uh, you know, could, uh, you know, possibly think is realistic in this business, you need to understand before what you want them to commit to, okay? Every single interaction, you need to have a commitment objective, guys. Commitment objective, write that down. Commitment objective, what that is, guys, is 
me going into an interaction, right? Whether I'm meeting someone in person for the first time, whether they've already uh, been exposed to the business, right? And I'm going into a call with them, right? What is my commitment objective, right? Maybe it's to hop on a call um, to talk about, you know, get to know them a little bit better, right? To see if I can even help them, right? Maybe it's go get some coffee with them. First time meeting them um, and uh, you just you just chop it up. Right. Maybe it's I go in for the clothes because they've already uh, seen the information and uh, you know, they're interested enough to hop back on a call. Right. I need to know what I'm going to do. Right. What my plan is before I even hop on the call. OK. Before I even interact with them in person. Right. Before I even text someone. OK. I need a commitment objective. And the thing is, guys, while you're through this process, right, going through this process, interacting with people your commitment objective may change, right? If someone isn't free to go to an event where you're presenting the information, then your commitment objective changes. It can't be the event to show up to, right? And so you're gonna understand that and you're gonna be able to navigate that a lot better the more reps you have. But first you need to understand that you need a commitment objective prior. It's called planning, right? Prior, and then you'll be able to be able to pivot a lot better if the commitment objective changes, okay? So process, guys. Process versus cycle. All right, guys? There's steps in the cycle of where you, as you know, a salesperson or a consultant, right, you want to lead the people to the best decision that they can make for their life. That's ultimately what you want to do, right? You want to lead them. People want to get led, right? People want to buy, they just need to believe that what they're buying is going to ultimately help them, right? They need to believe that you're someone that can help them, right? That's when skills come into play, right? But baseline foundation, you need to understand these concepts to even know where you're leading them, okay? Then we can talk about how, right? But first you wanna know where you're leading them, okay? So within each step of the sales cycle, guys, you have a process within, okay? I'm gonna to touch on the cycle first, guys, and the different commitment objectives that you have with each step of the cycle, okay? I'll touch on the process a little bit after that. But first, guys, when you have your initial contact with someone, okay, this is when you really wanna start writing stuff down. When you have your initial contact with someone, okay, what's the commitment objective going to be? It's not gonna to be to close them, right? You're not gonna get their credit card information after you talk to them for the first time out in Mall America, right? That's not what's gonna happen. So what your commitment objective is most likely going to be, right, is, you know, schedule a discovery call, okay? You want to get them to where they're at, whether you meet them in person, whether you text them on social media, whatever it is, get them to a discovery call, right? Whether that's coffee, whether that's lunch, whether that's a Zoom call, right? You want to get to know them, right? The, the better that you can be at those initial interactions and in asking good questions, right? That's part of the process in every step of the cycle, the more, the faster you'll get through the cycle, right? The faster you'll get through different um, commitment objectives, okay? But first, as long as you can meet someone, right? Text someone and be like, yeah, I'd love to connect. Let's hop on a call. Boom, that's good, right? What you did was you sold them on time, right? Price isn't just money, guys. Price is money or time. Okay, so it's like, yeah, let's hop on a call. You know, it's gonna be like 30 minutes or, oh, let's go get coffee. You know, I, I think I got like an hour um, this Wednesday or something like that, right? So first step of the cycle, boom. Uh, initial uh, initial interaction, right? Then commitment objective for that is schedule a discovery call. Okay, so what's the next step? Next step is discovery call, okay? Discovery meeting, right? This is when you get to know the person, right? Get to know their situation, get to know... Um, what, what they like to do, what they're doing for work, right? Where they want to go in life, right? What, what, what does their family dynamic look like? You know what I'm saying? Like, depending on who the person is, you know, get to know them guys, get to know them on a deeper level, right? Ask more questions than you talk, right? Then they'll be more inclined to ask you certain questions. What do you do? What? Oh, uh, yeah, I, I, I trade. You know, they'll be like, oh, what's that? You know what I'm saying? Like, it makes things a lot easier in instead of you attacking someone, being like, look, I just uh, I just started trading. You never met them before. I just started trading with a whole bunch of people, yada, yada, yada. Are you in or are you out? Like, you can go about it that way, guys. And depending on, like, which niche that you're targeting, 
you're going to get a certain conversion rate, right? There's a lot of factors that get into it. But for the people in your network that you already have, guys, I need you to be comfortable with calling these people, texting these people, right? And being like, hey, it's been a long time. Let's go get some coffee sometime, right? Hey, like, you know, I'd love to hop on the phone like for a little bit and just chop it up, right? This isn't where you pitch them, guys. This is discovery call. You just get to know them, establish some commonalities, get, uh, you know, make them make them feel understood. Make them feel like you care, right? Because you do, okay? This is the mindset that you have to adopt in order for people to want to help you, right? In order for them to become a doorway, okay? So the next step, right? You have this discovery call, okay? Discovery meeting. So now you can get them to an exposure, okay? That is your commitment objective, ideally from the discovery call, okay? Now this discovery call, right? You talk to them about a few things. Maybe you're like, oh yeah, I mean, I just started this business. I want to dive deeper into it. I mean, honestly, I really, really appreciate everything that we've talked about. I'd love your opinion on it. You could go about it that way. Maybe they don't want to trade. Maybe they don't want to do anything. Maybe you don't even talk about any of that, right? That's one way you can get them to in front of the information, okay? Another way is that if they're interested, then you get them to a corresponding uh, exposure that would make more sense to them, okay? So the exposure is, right? There's levels to them, okay? So it could be um, uh, a one-on-one -on -one where you do where you do a presentation. Those are good. A two-on-one -on -one where you have a mentor come in and do the presentation with you, right? You can do uh, you can send them the video, a thirty-minute video. Ask them how uh, you know when's the latest they can finish it by. You can uh, have them hop on a Zoom presentation, right? Where you have a whole bunch of people there, or you can have them come to an in-person event. Okay, so there's lots of ways you can expose them to the business, right? And keep in mind, guys, this stage right here. You might be in here for a little bit, okay? Because these exposures, right? You may need, you know, two, three, four, five, six exposures before they even like are ready, right? Or maybe they feel inclined enough and uh, believe that, you know, this will help them enough to make that decision, okay? So now what's next, right? You have this exposure, okay? There's the ideal commitment objective to where you can close them Okay, and you should try, right? You should try best, like you're not gonna make any money with this unless you try, right? But this whole time, throughout this entire cycle, guys, throughout this, all these steps, right? You're building enough trust between you and this individual, right? Where they understand that you care about them, you understand them, right? And you're just trying to help, okay? So what you have now is leverage in the relationship. Okay, by the time you're ready to close, right, you should have enough leverage to hold them accountable. Okay, this is the most this is the most powerful thing, right? And you can only get to this point if you go through the steps before in a genuine way where you're trying to help. Okay, but now you get to the point where you're closing, right? You have the leverage in order to be like, hey, look, I get that it's uh, a risky move, right? And I get that, you know, you have all these different things to consider, right? But you told me this, this, that, and you're trying to change this, this, that, right? So the way I look at risk, right, is that it goes both ways. You can, you can either take the risk to do something, right, where I know, you know, $300, you're not going to regret five years down the line taking a chance on yourself, right? Or is it riskier to do the same stuff that you've been doing and getting the same results? What's riskier, right? Those, those are the kind of things that you can say to hold them accountable, right? And they will appreciate you so much more, right? It's not about being pushy at that point. It's about holding them accountable, using your leverage as someone that cares, right? To help them make the best decision, okay? So now let's say you don't make the sale, okay? The whole thing that we've been going through, guys, you've built such a great relationship with this person, right? They know that you care. They know that, okay, this is actually really cool, but not for me, okay? Let's say that. Now, they can still become a doorway, okay? They can still become a doorway and get you introduced to certain certain people that would be interested. Be like, okay, now that I understand everything that's going on, that's what you got going on, oh, I think it's amazing. It's not for me, but uh, my cousin, my cousin would love something like this, right? Oh, cool, yeah, throw us in a group chat. Easy, right? And so um, that that's that's the difference between the cycle, right? The steps in the cycle and the processes within, Okay, so this foundation that I'm giving you guys, right, you need to have this 
as the baseline understanding before you even think about everything in between. I've given you some examples, right? But it's going to look a little bit different depending on the relationship with the person, depending on um, what you know about them already, depending on which step of the cycle you're in. Okay. And I'm not going to get into that because we don't have enough time for that today. But guys, look, everyone is a doorway, right? We're trying to help people. Okay. This is what's going to help us in the long term. Okay. It's a beautiful, beautiful dynamic. Okay. So in order to do that, you need to have the proper commitment objectives or people are just going to be weirded out. Okay. They're going to feel like they're just being sold to, right? And which they are, but selling isn't, isn't, it shouldn't be a bad thing, right? The way that we're trying to sell guys, the way that people should sell is about being a consultant and helping people make the best decisions that they possibly can. Okay. You're selling someone in every step of the cycle, right? But they don't feel like they're being sold to, right? You get them from the initial contact to meeting up with them. You sold them on a meeting with you, right? Boom. You get them from uh, meeting up with you to getting to them to the exposure. You sold them on looking at the information. They don't even know, right? You get them from looking at the exposure and the information to getting them started or getting them to get, uh, introduce you to someone else. You sold them on that, right? But it doesn't feel like it. It doesn't feel like it because this is the way, the best way to go about it. So then not only like, do you not burn bridges, guys, you're building a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful legacy. Okay. So this was something important to me that ties back into why I'm doing this in the first place. Okay. So when I realized I'm like, I'm trying to help so many people, but I'm just being completely misunderstood, right? Is because I lacked the awareness, I lacked the fundamentals, the foundation, and I lacked the skills throughout this entire process for me to really do it in the best way possible for both people. Okay. So with this, okay, something that Eric Worre also talks about is an active candidate list. Okay. So all these people that you guys are meeting that you already know, right? If you don't have a list of where, you know, who they are, some information about them, right? Um, or like, you know, maybe their birthday, right. To keep track on, uh, keep, keep track of everything. That's bonus points or, uh, you know, some commonalities that you guys have, right. One of the, one of the people that were mentioned in the audio, uh, he, uh, he has built so many beautiful relationships over time, but it's known so many people. And then Eric's like, okay, well, how do you know all these people? Right. And how are you able to maintain these friendships is because he keeps track of everything. Right. And he challenges himself to figure out a way to maintain that connection. You know, whether this person likes golf, whether this person likes to go get coffee every now and then, right? Whatever it is, you find a way to connect with them every now and then, okay? Just establish those connections if you feel like it's worthwhile enough, right? The more people that you can do this with, guys, the more impact you're gonna have on a large scale, okay? Like, that's simple math. So that's gonna be bonus for you guys the more you can stay organized, the better your systems are, the better your organization will be long-term, easy, right? That's the biggest thing that's gonna help scale your organization, right? But fundamentally, you need to understand the steps of the cycle, your commitment objectives, right? And how you can help someone get to the what they need to be at, right? Where they need to be at, you know? So with that, guys, I want to leave you guys with a challenge, okay? But first, I wanna know, Who's in here that's like me, that wants to help others, that wants to see people around me grow and wants to leave a positive impact in the world for a legacy, All right? Let me know. Let me know. Drop some Drop some numbers. I don't care what numbers. Just drop some numbers in the chat because these, these are for you, right? This, this challenge is for you, okay? Yeah, Marissa's on it. <laughs> All right, guys. So look, the challenge I have for you guys, this is what I'll leave you with, okay, is send out a message, right? By the end of tonight to whoever, whoever, people like, it could be your family, it can be your friends, your long lost friends, right? Long lost brothers and sisters, well, whoever it may be, okay? Teachers, anybody that's been a part of, uh, you know, your, your network, okay? That, you know, has a positive impact on you um, or that you care about, right? Send them a text and be like, hey, how are you doing? That's it right? Send out 50 of those texts by the end of tonight, guys. This is my challenge to you. Send out 50 of those texts by the end of tonight. And remember, 
what is your commitment objective, right? What is your commitment objective? And just spark up those conversations and it's going to, it's going to snowball in a beautiful, beautiful way. Okay. But you gotta, you gotta follow up, stay consistent. And, um, and with that, I hope everyone got a little bit of value tonight. Uh, this is something I'm really, really passionate about guys, because I've burned a lot more bridges than I would like. Um, but I know so many more bridges are being built, um, you know, from now and the future. So with that, I wish you the best, um, bridge building experience. I wish you the best business building experience. And uh, I wish that many, many, many more people will be helped, right? Through this platform, through our team because of you. All right. So with that, have a good night. I appreciate it and love you guys. Peace.